to another vlogmas video so y'all for today's video we are heading heading to my in-laws so that uh, my mother-in-law can teach me how to make sorrel because i have no clue how to make sorrel i've never made sorrel before whether it be the fresh fruit itself or the dried out ones that they have in the grocery i've never made it i've never attempted it i've never looked it up on how to make sorrel so my mother-in-law is going to teach me that today for my vlogmas video for you all because i have no vlogmas videos it's been a struggle getting ideas and not being you know day in the life of me waking up washing my face and yeah i know people like some people like those type of stuff but it, it's, it's not my cup of tea so um it's really been a struggle not only getting content but having to edit those stuff i don't know if other youtubers are saying this out there but it's really difficult to upload do a video edit and upload a video every single day i don't care what nobody say it is very challenging and time consuming it's very tedious work and i am just ready to i have like what three more days so after this here y'all i am taking a break because i am tired 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 anyways we are headed to my in-laws now and there is traffic 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 so i will see you when we get there oh and y'all we found sorrel by the roundabout in moba junction there um the flyover when you're going that way yeah and it was four pounds for 25 dollars and i have three pounds for 20 dollars dark sorrel and they have the like red ones so yeah um we got it for that price i don't know if that's cheap or that expensive let us know down in the comment section but that's where we got our sorrel i want a piece of pork i want a piece of pork i want a piece of pork for me i don't want no money to keep you i want a piece of pork for me christmas i want a piece of pork i want a piece of pork i want a piece of pork for me Mother in law isn't home. Uh, yeah, so home toy here. But she loves to meet up. But yeah, if I look in orange, it's a little thin because it's kind of red orange. Yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to research on how to like clean the sorrel or how to clean it. I'm just going to research just to get the idea. So just in case I have to do like any prepping before making the juice that I can get that done so that when she comes home she can teach me how to you know make the sorrel so it turns out I do have to clean the sorrel and y'all let me show you all the sorrel here okay so this is the sorrel here this is the four pounds of sorrel and um it has the seed in the center here nice bright green seed basically what you have to do is just take all the seed this is it here I tried pitting it but then i went and researched on how to actually get the seeds out and they use this kind of circular device and push it but i tried to take it out peel it and it, it, i don't know if this is wrong but everybody else that i've seen do it on the internet they basically keep this soil form intact and just y'all this looking like real wood. The easy way that I found to do it is just cut around at the bottom of this sorrel, cut all the way around, and just kind of scrape all the seed like that so that way you're not touching the seed with all the pickles on it because the seed alone that have the pickles. So, let me do our next one for you. Come at the bottom and you're cutting all around. all around 
that's okay if you waste a couple you know pieces of it but yeah this is it here so I will see you guys back when I finish up with all the sorrel here finish it took me some time because I am new to this maybe who doing it every year probably just wop up up and finish but it took me some time so let me show you all okay so this is the piece of sorrel this is these are all the um, seeds I got a whole bowl of seeds there are some rotten ones inside there. I didn't want to mix it with this here but yeah these are the sorrel So I'm just going to continue waiting on my mother-in-law to get home and then we go and do this drink. Okay y'all, so um, I just called my mother-in-law and she's almost home so she told me to put on a pot of water which I did right here and um, she told me to wash the sorrel. So I put on the next gloves because that glove for some reason the picker was going through the gloves so this is a much thicker glove. So I'm now going to, well I started washing it already, but basically when I was cleaning it inside here had some cobweb and stuff inside so it's basically just to, you know, make sure to wash it and get out all anything that they haven't. So I'm just going to drain all the water and my mother-in-law should reach home momentarily so we wait. When the water boil and mm -hmm. it's bubbling. Uh -huh. but the sorrel, uh -huh. put the five spice, the clove, and the orange peel and cover it down. And that's it? Then take out the, after about a, three or four minutes, take out the orange peel. Just the orange peel alone? Oh, and then that's it? Leave. <laughs> Well, I'll put it in there. Yeah. Hello. Oh, the color started to change already. One time. If you leave that, it's got plenty of acid. And how long are you leaving this for? I've uh, for about a good an hour, two hours. Two hours? Mm -hmm. It's been about an hour since this sorrel has been steaming in this hot water. I just wanted to peep it and see. Ooh! Oh, yeah, look how red this is. Wow. Okay, okay. I can't wait for this to finish. I have an hour again. Okay, so the sorrel is losing color and all the color does go into the water.
and this is it all this is basically how you make your sorrows She didn't even add no water to this drink because you know once the ice melts out oh my goodness y'all mm -mm -mm. perfect y'all yeah and that's basically how my mother-in-law makes her sorrel juice y'all i learned a thing or two i learned how to you know clean the sorrel and take all the seeds i i found my own way to do stuff but i got it done even though it took me a while to get it done but i got it done and i learned how to make sorrel juice and y'all it's 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 really good guys i hope you guys did enjoy it make sure to hit me the thumbs up if you did don't forget to leave the comment down in the comment section let me know how it is your mommy does make your sorrel if she just put a little bit of cinnamon or a little ginger Oh, you know, you know what, what she does do different to flavor her sorrel and uh, make sure to share my video with all your family and friends whether it be on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram or WhatsApp or wherever you post and yeah I'll see you in another video tomorrow bye